Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. Um, look, got a bunch of stuff to talk to you about. Some good, some not so good, something I got wrong and something I got right. Um, let's start off with this. Uh, the stock market has been open for 15 minutes. Right now, we have new intraday record highs with regard to the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is not far behind. And again, uh, you knew this was going to happen. More records are coming. There is no doubt about it. So again, ignore people that are telling you this market's going to crash or melt down today, tomorrow, or on any specific date. You know, let me touch on that real quick. It appears that there is an individual out here who continues repeatedly, uh, and he shows up on, on some pretty big shows out here on YouTube, talking about specific times and dates that this market is going to crash. Um, this man should be shamed. Uh, no one can do this. I don't care what kind of crystal ball he believes he has. Ignore the man. Uh, he has proven to be wrong time and time again, and no one, again, I don't care what methodology you might use, uh, is going to be able to tell you exactly when. It's impossible. But I can tell you this, stocks are going up. Uh, and I've been right f for how long now? I don't know. It's obscene. My job is to keep you on the right side of this market. Okay, so I got that right. I'm going to tell you where I got it wrong. Um... It looked to me a few days ago that crude oil was bottoming. Well, crude oil is falling under pressure yet again. The trajectory remains higher, but I was wrong. Uh, crude oil did take a hit, but I'm going to say this. The boom system, right on my website, free for everyone, did say that crude was uh, a sell. I went against my own system and I got it wrong. Uh, that boom system is freaking accurate. And it's free. There's no sign-ups. There's no nothing. So take advantage of it. Uh, all right. So, you know, once in a while this does happen. I still believe crude is going up for the reasons I have outlined repeatedly. Uh, it's under some pressure right now. And it's going to go up. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, so, so with that said... Um, a couple of more things. Metals are catching a bit here. Cryptos are under a little bit of pressure. Uh, hundreds of billions continue to be pumped into the debt market. The Federal Reserve is calling this temporary. It's not temporary. And I'm going to tell you what makes me want to vomit. We heard again, again, from the president about negative rates and debt expansion. Why can't the man admit that he can't get the economy to grow without more debt and without rate suppression. He won't admit it. You see, he believes this, that the middle class, um, they're too dumb to understand what he's talking about. The president said that if the Fed were cutting rates here, in other words, going negative, that our economy would grow at 4%. This is a blatant, in-your-face lie. What he means to say, and he can't tell you, is this is massively stock market positive, but it's robbing the middle class blind. If he's talking about negative rates or cutting rates here, which is coming anyway, all right? There's no way the Fed's not cutting rates. But by the president coming out here and explaining or begging for negative rates, He's asking for the middle class to continue to subsidize the stock market by being robbed blind by not being paid a rate of interest on their interest earning accounts that will keep up with the rate of inflation. Now, let me ask you, why do you believe the president is not explaining to the members of the middle class or those with an interest earning account that they will be robbed blind further if we go negative with regard to rates? Look, this is insane, all right? Uh, all he's concerned about is propping up this stock market. All well and good for me, my lions, for people that want to get on the right side of this market. But it's devastating to the middle class. Devastating. And then again, weaker dollar, weaker dollar. Why doesn't he explain to the middle class 
how a week or dollar is good for them because he can't do it. And he believes that the members of the middle class are so stupid that they'll just believe, again, the cults, that whatever comes out of his mouth is good. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me and you can't make this crap up if you tried. But this is the truth. It's revolting, it's disgusting, it's part of the fakery, the nonsense, and the propaganda. Mr. President, you have a set? Well, I dare you to tell the people of the world, the middle class here in the United States, how negative rates is going to help the middle class, or how a weak dollar is going to help the middle class. Enlighten us all, Mr. President. Explain where Gregory Manorino got this one wrong. All right, I'm out of here. Love you all. Love you all a lot. Let's see uh, what happens. Please share the video. See you at the end of the day.